Hey, how you guys doing? I'm back, Lex. Yeah, so the Stur Emil. Now, I might have said that wrong, but I don't speak German, and it sounds really weird. <laughs> um, so, quickly going to cover the armor. 50 millimeters in the front there, and 30 all the way around, which means this thing is a candidate for high explosives. Now, um, this thing has a gun on it. It's a tier 9 on a tier 7. It actually has the, it's a 128 millimeter gun, which is just, if you think about that for just a second, that's actually crazy to be in a tier 7 tank. So it has a 128 millimeter that does a 231 penetration and 490 damage, but it can do up to, th to 630. So it gives you the option of high explosives. Uh, you can see here this is a pretty even matchup, a good game. Um, not necessarily for me, because I don't have any armor. So um, yeah, that much damage though in comparison, I'm just going to tell you the gun that's on this is pretty much the same gun that you get on the E50M. So uh, it's just not 128, it's 105 millimeter and it does 100 less damage, but the penetration is about the same. So this gun will actually pin tier 9s with no problem and it, it makes no sense why it's, why it's actually in this game. It's the Borsig line, which is, I, I'm looking forward to getting the Borsig. They give you the choice between high penetration and just uber damage. And I'm going to say damage is the way to go. Um, but you can go either way with it. So I thought to myself, the best way to, to know your enemy is to actually, you know, play the tank so this tank right here this whole line has been like a uh, nemesis to me so um, a lot of light tanks in this game you know and a lot of artillery I'm thinking probably the worst game I could possibly have so that pretty much wraps up everything I will say that some of the benefits that this has is 400 meters of view stock which means you really don't need the binoculars camouflage net I would advise just because you need all the camo you need you, you can get because this has average camo rating which is not that good um, it's too tall now when you get the boar sig it actually has really good camouflage rating you know just yeah it's, it's pretty nice so um, yeah it also has the the lowest gun depression in the game you'll see here in a second after I get into this confrontation with this I think it's called the Lutch. Um, I actually thought, you know, I thought, oh man, I missed them. That's game for me. <laughs> I am done. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm thinking, oh, he's behind me. He's just going to keep circling me. And he actually caught out of there. He made a left turn. And then I, I tracked him for a second. Now I see him. And I noticed he's making a mistake because I drive light tanks too. Never drive in a straight line, especially when you're in a light tank. So max damage on him. He should have just, you know, went for the kill. So uh, here's a good example of its gun depression, which I'm going to tell you if you go on any map, you'll find a place where this gun depression is its only real um, defense, you know, because it has zero armor. I mean, 50 millimeters, you know, anything with high explosive rounds will waste it. And here you go. Here's my uh, third kill, and it's an ammo rack gonna go ahead and record that one <laughs> yeah I actually was very surprised that that was an ammo rack it's also really quick a uh, quick firing and I was just kind of feeling it in this game I started getting really aggressive at this point I'm like you know I got three kills even if I get killed right now we're doing really good it's not even gonna be a close game and that's gonna quickly start changing here in a second the reason why is that there's only um, one T29 and there's an AT15 which pretty much is a wraps for us but we, we they have these T29s here that are just basically sitting in the cap I'm showing them my barrel and I'm distracting them and we have this AT I don't know what kind of AT it is I think it's an AT I don't think it's a 15 I think it's a 7 AT7 or something like that it's it's no match for for this guy he's also shooting them right in the hatch as you can see now the reload is another downfall for this I'm using gun rammer um, with no aimer the aim in time is really good but it could you know it could use a 
brothers in arms and stuff to make it a little quicker. So he's looking at me, he's getting ready to shoot me, but yeah, he's done. So about 11.50 I did to him. So there's one more left, and I can see that he's shooting, you know, somebody's shooting him for 121. I didn't realize that it's actually a VK36 with a 75 millimeter. So I come in here, I shoot him, and ram him. If I would have actually missed that, I probably would have done more damage. So I'm sitting there thinking, hey, what a good game. These other guys are going to clean it up, and it's going to be great, you know? So... Yeah, just remember if you do go down this line, the first gun they give you is actually a 105 millimeter, and it's terrible. It's inaccurate. It has no penetration, which means you're probably going to want to keep premium rounds with you for sure. Now that ammo rack was pretty amazing, I will say, um, but this guy is nothing. You know, not to this this gun. Like I said, using its gun depression, being on hills like that. He couldn't aim down far enough to shoot me. I don't know if you've seen that. Otherwise, I think he would have fired, even if it was to miss. But uh, the accuracy of this gun is pretty good. I think it's a .36. So you either get 38 or 32. 30, 34 is about the highest I've seen at this caliber. So very accurate gun. And most people say things like this. This line takes no skill. I will say this. Um, Starting back with the toaster, which is the PC or PZFF or SF, you know, four. I had the mark of excellence on that. I had the mark of excellence on the Nash horn, and now I have it on this next one. I'm pretty sure I'll get one on the Borsig as well, just because it's such a good tank. Um, you know, it's the gun. It's just basically a mobile gun. You know, the uh, camouflage on this is what makes it bad. So. I'm actually pretty well aware of what's just happened and our artillery's gotten killed and the last thing I want is that Lutch, you know, coming behind me and firing his whole mag into me. But I'm sitting there thinking, hey, there's three of us. I seriously doubt he's going to come for us. But if, if it was me, I'd flank around and come around right where he is. And so I'm waiting for him. I auto-aim and fire. And at that moment I realized, wow, seven kills. I was not aware of that, that I just got seven kills. Um, now, it, it was a mainly tier seven game, so we I, I'd call this a god lobby, but getting a reaper medal that was actually a reaper, it's not like I snatched people's kills. Mark of excellence, a demolition expert, I rammed somebody, so give me bruiser, and you'll see here I'm gonna go through them real quick. Reaper, demolition expert, which means I ammo rack somebody, bruiser, that's about this. I can't get a mastery on this for some reason. Devastator, so that's for tev uh, seven tanks. Ranger, kill three, three or more light tanks in one game. That's a very hard medal to get. It's my second time getting it. Um, sniper, and of course Top Gun, seven kills and all that. Pretty, pretty good game. I was actually pretty surprised at how well I did. I mean, I just did this after uploading my my video earlier, so I thought, hey, might as well. But you can see here just doing massive damage. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And have a good one. Later.